Hi, everybody, and welcome to Paste Studio on the Road. We're live right now at Pizzaconi's Palace here in Brooklyn, New York with Kate Davis. Kate, it's lovely to see you again. Thanks for doing this. Thank you. Yeah, we are, we're about to hear three songs, um, and we are going to hear three brand new unreleased songs. What do you feel like doing first today? I'm going to play a song called Monster Mash that isn't the Monster Mash that you think it is. <laughs> I wanted more. Thank you, Kate. Thank you. That was a fun uh, change of tone right there at the at the end of that song. How are you <laughs> yeah. feeling about that um, that little eight watt amp from the fifties and the way that it's talking with your pedal board and your guitar? It's having a very uh, strange conversation that defies time and space. <laughs> That's what it's doing. It's time traveling. Yeah. 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 I mean, all the way from what nineteen fifty four to now or whatever yeah. that is, yeah. something like that. Yeah. Um, can you develop the uh, the conversation that you and Juan were having offline about the lovely guitar that you're playing right now? I know a little bit about that guitar. I want to know more about it, and I want the, our viewers to know more about that guitar. Yeah, it's um, it's a little duo sonic from sometime in the '60s. It's it's less um, precious to me because of what it is, and more precious because of kind of the story. It it was a guitar that belonged to uh, a producer that I work with, Tim Bright, and he gave it to me one day for my birthday, right before I went to Europe for the first time. And it was like, it was just kind of like, whoa, just really nice. So um, yeah, it's, I call, I, yeah, little greeny, little seafoam, crusty girl, that's what's going on. A lot of, a lot of nice. stuff. Nice. So because it is uh, not not particularly precious, it's not a uh, pristine, I don't know the right word. I'm not trying to insult your guitar. Oh, anyway, yeah. But it's I don't it's think precious because of, of not what it is, like you said. Because um, of the sentimental it, value. Is that your always traveler? Are you are you constantly lo uh, traveling with that guitar? Is that your, your one and only or is that one of one of many? It is. It is the one and only right now. Um, and it, it is doing it's doing just fine. It's doing right by me. For sure. So, yeah. 
Good. Yeah. Good. Well, I enjoy listening to it. I enjoy listening to your music, and there's still two more songs coming still up. Still are. Um, why do you feel like doing second today? Um, I'm gonna do a new a new one that's called DDR. I gotta really think about my song names for the future. I feel like it's a bit it's a bit odd. Um, anyway. I know you want to need me. You pretend not to see me with your laser beams. To The song named for the the video game that I haven't thought about in a minute, Dance mm-hmm. Dance Revolution. Um, yeah. If this if this kills you, then you deserve to die. That's heavy. That's great. I like it very Thanks. much. Um, was if you, uh, um, I think you want me to hurt you. Um, did you <laughs> say to yourself after you wrote that song, what is the like polar opposite thing uh, that I could name this thing that does not convey the content of this song, or how did did you land at it just because you had to name it something at some point? Well, there's a lyric. I mean, the, the chorus is, hold me, demon, daddy, ride. And DDR kind of helps to compartmentalize demon daddy <laughs> in a way that just felt a little more, um, I don't know. It felt like it was hearkening back to a time in my youth that was simple when I did play DDR with my sisters, you know, with the pad. and. Oh, yeah. You know, it was, these were simpler times, but it's, I don't know, I feel like time is uh, something I think about a lot and like memories and like how to bring things from, I don't know, chi- childhood shit comes up all the time. Who? I mean, that seems pretty normal that that would happen, but like just kind of trying to bring 
things from the past to things of now and trying to help kind of tell my own little weird story through the things that seemed relevant at the time and still do now, you know? I don't know. DDR, DDR was a big deal for me as a kid. And do there's, you, yeah. Do you feel, has that been your style throughout? Is that like a, a through line to the music that you've always created that you try to take childhood things, life experiences and tell, and tell that story? Um, or do you feel like you're moving more in that direction with this new batch of songs or any different direction mm. than you had been? Like maybe the last time we saw you was, yeah. was a while ago. I mean, while three, ago. three years ago at least. Yeah. Um, yeah. What direction do you feel this, this new batch headed? Well, I think like, you know, the last time I saw you guys was like the trophy record, which was kind of like what feels like 12 years worth of songs on one record. You know, it's a very different way to put music out when it's stuff you've been sitting on and, and writing and kind of like the, the work that's helping you kind of just begin, you know? And I think that um, on the trophy record, there were a lot of, um, kind of like nods to childhood things. I think even like the idea of like a trophy is very rooted in, you know, like succeeding in some kind of weird way as a kid on a soccer team or, you know, like it's, it's kind of like, they're like weird antiquated symbols that come from growing up a certain way that you then um, maybe like change the emotional meaning of, or like just like have a very different relationship with much later. So I don't know, I, I find myself, gravitating towards objects a lot and obviously metaphor but like using things that seem to feel really important to me but I'm not sure why and then like use the song to unpack some of the emotional relevance of it or yeah but I yeah it's always objects yeah. yeah, that's. I mean, I, dude, I haven't thought. Uh, you just unpacked something to a little extent for me. I mean, I haven't thought for a long time about how excited I was to get a baseball trophy, and you know, yeah. now obviously that's changed context in my life. I could not give less of a shit about a piece of plastic. You know, I get very, very excited about a great ramen bowl, and mm -hmm. maybe that is potentially. But it's still not that level of excitement that you felt about that shitty plastic thing. It's like, yeah, I great. made it, man, and. Um, yeah, I still do still get excited about things in my life, but those things obviously have shifted over time. So thank you yeah. for um, making me remember how awesome though that particular object used to be. Yeah, except I'm only going to write really emotional, sad songs about it, so you're going to see the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. The darkness and childhood success and triumph. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's, art's weird, you know, make stuff. Yeah. Whatever, whatever works, whatever trauma you got to unpack, if it's in the, the form of a, uh, you know, object. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Well, I like it. I like everything that you're doing Yay. and, um, I like what we're doing. This is fun. This job is super fun. We get to do this all day. And, yeah. uh, this is the last session of, this is the last song of the last session in this location. We'll pack it all up and go to talk, go to elsewhere, somewhere else. <laughs> um, uh, where do you, what would you, what would you, would you like to play third today? Third up is a song called Consequences. It's maybe my most normal name of a song. I forgot my wallet and my keys in a cab in the city. So I got down on my knees crying out to a corporate deity. Black hole was tearing into me where my heart had forgotten about fragility and tenderness in your absentee. Without being emotional, just going through the motions of one big self sabotaging empty. Scary to realize the reasons why you want to die And that you would spare them of the consequences On the shore, the medium told me I will grind for eternity And what's more, I'll never be rid of it 
hex that my ex's mom put on me A meltdown in this cheap plastic chair Where my heart had forgotten that you were near to me And waiting there ever patiently Without being emotional Just going through the motions of One big self-sabotaging We did it. Kate, thank you for coming. It's thank always you. great to see you. And thanks yeah, for likewise. sharing your music and your time with us. And we'll stay tuned for details about when new music's available, tour dates, all of the above. Um, thank you again for... Oh, wait a minute. We know that there is a show in Philly at Johnny Brenda's next week, right? Next. Uh, it's on the 21st. I think that's a Tuesday. That sounds true. Yeah. Um, I'm excited. It's a it's a bill with um, Swearin and the Afterglows. And it's going to be cute. Yeah. Good. Good. Enjoy it. And um, we will see you somewhere awesome next time. Yeah. All Thank right. you. All right. We did it. Thanks, Kate. Yay. Yay.